I hope you guys had a good Monday today. Things that happen today, Google acquires another company. Cell phones cause you to fall out of the sky again. And we can now make light up kidneys. Google today set terms to buy a company known as AdMill. What this company does is it helps websites make more money from advertising, more specifically online advertising. As you all should know, Google is an advertising giant. They make most of their revenue from advertising and they like to acquire companies that help increase that revenue for advertising. While Google might be still acquiring more and more companies that increase its revenue, you might be using its other product named Android on your cell phone or maybe another cell phone, but hopefully not on an airplane according to this study. According to a study from the International Air and Transport Association, more than 75 incidents of cell phone interference on planes across the world between the years of 2003 and 2009 were recorded. It's not like this hasn't been brought up before, but apparently cell phones cause interference in planes. I just don't see why if they would even have equipment on planes that can be interfered with by cell phone radiation. It's obvious almost every single person that goes on a plane probably has a cell phone nowadays. And there are more and more people that use their cell phone during flight, which is, to me, I, I really have no opinion on this right now because I've never actually seen a crash caused by a cell phone. I they talked about malfunctions in in landing gears and like communication systems and all this stuff caused by cell phones, but how does a RF single same wireless type of single as like maybe a Wi-Fi single, which now a lot of planes have Wi-Fi on. GPS singles, how do, how do those singles not interfere with the same equipment as cell phones do? Is it just a coincidence? You tell me. Moving on to some science. Scientists have bioengineered cells that emit green light. What they've done is take in green fluorescent protein from most commonly jellyfish, and spliced it into a, hu a human kidney protein, which then generated the same type of light as the fluorescent jellyfish did. The use of scientists are creating for this could be they say they can inject these cells into your body, and what they will do is when you are being scanned by an X-ray or an MRI. They will create more light inside of your body as to create better images from these medical scans. I never would have thought something like this, like to take protein out of a jellyfish and insert it into a human to make our skin light up would ever have any practical use next to some random person. Maybe one day we'll have a light up tattoo, which would be, I, mean, I guess that's kind of cool. I never really saw any other practical use, but they can use to actually use in medical imagery. As always, hit that thumbs up button down below. If you haven't yet already, subscribe up above. And thanks for watching.